Hello, I'm Simon Krafer. In our Moto Voodoo school, I've been running the new model GSX-R1000 for well over a year now. And on my personal instructor bike, because I have some very fast clients, I need some modifications to allow me to go with them, you know, on a relatively stock bike. I run Olin's fork internals, a harder front spring, between 10 and a half and 11, depends tracks or my weight. Uh, and speed of client. Um, on the rear, I run an Olin's rear shock with the spring that it, they recommend. It comes, it's been absolutely fine. I run Brembo pump without, it's a master cylinder, without the ABS, and lines running direct to the original calipers. I run EBC race pads and their discs, and good race rubber. The only other thing I do is shorten the foot pegs a little bit to keep my feet off the ground. It's a cheap way of uh, running uh, instead of rear sets. But because I often also rent my instructor bike out because I have too many quick clients that desire to have those mods, I end up on the stock bike, which happened to me yesterday at El Maria and I had to push very hard. And the reason for doing this video is to give you all of the settings that I believe are really necessary to allow you to ride fast lap times on this completely stock bike. It makes a big difference, these small adjustments. So here we go. So let's start with the front forks, which are very high level forks for a stock bike, best I've ever had. So the only thing with them riding fast on track is the springs are a bit soft, they're 10s. I prefer 10 and a half, 11. So I need to run 12 preload on the front. So that's take it all off and clockwise turn 12 turns on both forks. Then I move to the bottom adjuster of the fork and the compression, I run one turn in more than comes standard. So that makes it, if you adjust it all the way in, don't close it hard because you'll damage the needle in the seat. So lightly close it all the way and turn one and a half turns out. On rebound, I don't touch it from standard because when I did, I couldn't tell any difference. It feels absolutely fine. So I leave that basically by running that turn extra of compression, you're supporting what I think is a little bit soft spring for hard track riding. The next thing that is super important on the front that we discovered after making the original update video, you know, for riding this bike on track, is the front fork position. They come standard around 16 millimeter protruding through the tri triple clamp. That's the outer tube without measuring the cap. And we drop them back through the fork so we have less protruding. Drop them back through about 10 mil. That's if you're running the standard shock. And so there's only four to six mil protruding. This, I've never had to do this on a stock bike before. They normally need more front weight, but it makes a huge difference. Please don't hesitate to do this. I know it takes a little bit of time to get the forks back through, but you'll be super happy. There is no negative to doing this. What it does is take some weight off the front, raises the front. It gives you ground clearance because of that. It helps the bike stop better because of that. It helps the ABS be less intrusive because the rear is picking up off the ground less so the ABS kicks in less and kicks your finger off off the brakes less it's so much better the other thing it does because it's taken weight off the front the front feels less heavy uh, or less work on the front tire the bike turns great like I said you have more ground clearance it also keeps a little bit more rear weight on so the initial crack of the throttle you have more grip Please do it, there's no negative. Moving to the rear of the bike, because the rear shock is set for the roads and potholes and comfort, when you ride on track with all that power and with good rubber, the rear shock gets compressed too much. So again, what I do is put turns of preload, minimum two turns of preload. It gets hard to put more on than that because the, the preload adjuster sinks below the level of the swing arm and it's hard to get in there but if you can get four turns on there even better then i move to the compression adjuster on the rear shock and again put another full turn of compression on there so if you want to check it's correct turn it all the way in 
and one and a half turns out is correct. Again, I don't touch the rebound because it didn't make any difference when I did. The final thing you're gonna need that is super important to go fast on track that works together with all these adjustments is good circuit specific rubber. You're gonna need that, it makes all the difference. Anyway, have a safe one. I hope these adjustments make all the difference to you.